welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. And you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials uh, down 264, NASDAQ up 205, SP's up 14 and a half. Gold, gold contract trading down $12, 2,332 an ounce. We have silver down 60 cents, $29.24 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 85 cents. $80.78 an ounce, Light, uh, notes and bonds, 10-year note, trading up three ticks, 110.20, the 30-year up eight ticks at 120.08, king dollar. King dollar right now trading up 134 ticks, 105, 607, euro 107, yen at a price point of 159, British pound 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. It was called, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, I'm going to bring up the futures first. If you just heard the update, you know where I'm coming from here. So inside the E-mini, we had out here, you have tiny consolidation. Low has been 55.11, high 55.26. That being said, you know, what we had out here is that right there. You're going to love this one, man. It, that was the test. Of yesterday. I brought this up many times before, too, that the bottom line is you always want to watch these high volume lows, period. That's the bottom line. So we had the high volume low from yesterday right before the close. Actually, it is, yeah, 10 minutes before the close. That came down to test it with lighter volume because that was a huge amount of volume, no doubt. Test with lighter volume. Now, that being said, we still have the highest volume bars at 5512. And we're at 5532. So we busted the high. The high that I'm talking about is 5532. Well, five, okay, we're at 5532 right now. Busted the high, came down, and we came down 10 minutes, 20 minutes ago. That had some juice also. So this one here, let me look at this for a second. Okay, so that buy just finished. So we had come down with the, what's that, 20? 20,000 contracts and just went up with 14. That's telling me that we're still going lower. 60 minutes, we can go hit these lows once again. Now that's in the S&P, not in the NASDAQ. I expect the NASDAQ to pull back, but not a big way, because this is, let me show you this. Because the NASDAQ, the NDX 100, did not get close to that high volume bar from yesterday. So here's the high volume bar from yesterday. You're watching Tiger TV. You can see, well, I, you know what's interesting here, though? This gets interesting. This did test it at 0400 this morning. <laughs> That's kind of wild. Well, that being said, anyway, it, to go from where we are right now, I suspect the NASDAQ is going to come to the NDX 100. We're up 189 right now at 19. 941, and I expect we're going to go to 871. So that's, yeah, that's uh, 70 points lower from where we are right now. And if we get volume there, we'll go to the bottom of the bar, which the bottom of the bar is 837. Gold. Look at the gold contract out here. Gold's trading down 1250. You get 137,000 contracts. Now, what we have is gold yesterday went higher with 118,000. We're going lower at 137. That's telling me we're going to go to the bottom of the consolidation again, and we'll see whether we break it. My take is we're going to break it. And the reason I'm saying this has everything to do with the dollar. So we go over to the dollar. The dollar's Still hanging tough in its higher range. We got down to 105.371 today, rejected that area, and 
I take, we're going to the 107 area. We break the 107, we can go a lot higher. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. 10-year note first. What we have with the 10-year note, you're up two ticks. This is just consolidating. It's consolidating this whole area. Now, my, my take is that we're going to get down to lower price, higher yield once again, meaning I'm talking the next couple of weeks here. Uh, what we had happen intraday, so here, check this out intraday, because this is pretty cool. So the 10-year was up about five to six ticks this morning. And when this came down, it came down hard and fast. It came, we were at 110.25. So we were, up, uh, we were up eight ticks, okay? And then what ended up happening is that Canada came out with their inflation numbers, and they were closer to three than two. It was 2.78 or something. That took the bond straight down. And now she's just oscillating, meaning round and round we go. Some of the higher volume equities out here that we have today, NVIDIA's number one, that's up $7, trade 125.15. You got uh, Carnival up a buck 48, 17, uh, 80. Let me do it on this one so I can see better. There we go, most. There we go. You have, uh, let's see, Tesla's up four bucks. You got Apple up two bucks. We got uh, here, this is something cool. <laughs> so check this out. Pool, P O O L, right? Pool's down $25. Now, pool, they distribute pool supplies, equipment, related equipments. Uh, and this stock is just getting smoked. And I know you've heard me talk about pools a million times because I put pools in the new homes. And <laughs> uh, I can't wait to call a few pool guys and see if they're going down price yet because the last time that I checked this again, so pool is down from $502 to 311 It's coming down with volume. I suspect it's going to go test, uh, what, 278 or 311 uh, because the pool people have got away with up pricing like beyond belief, beyond belief. And we'll see whether they want business or they want to hold to prices that are outrageous. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 255, NASDAQ's up 203, S&Ps are up 14 and a half. Stay right there, come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman.